we have a little bit of a problem in my betta fish aquarium. <sighs> and we're gonna have to fix it. Hey, what's crackalack and challengers? I'm your host, James Moreland. Welcome back to the fish room. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the betta fish that I got in the last video and the problem in this aquarium and what we need to do to fix it. So, let's just get started. In the previous video, I picked up three female betta fish. Now, normally betta fish can't live together. However, in this big aquarium, I was able to keep these three betta fish all together and so far they've been doing fairly well. The only problem is they are terrorizing all the other inhabitants in this aquarium. So all these shrimp, you guys might remember how I moved 200 of them into this aquarium, they are basically getting chased down all the time by this betta fish, by this red betta fish specifically, but the other two of course are going after them every once in a while. So we're gonna have to do something about that pretty quick because of course I do not want to be losing shrimp. So while I was brainstorming things to do, I was thinking I could add more rocks, I could add more plants, I could possibly move the betta fish to my 20 gallon. And while I was walking around in the fish room, I saw this huge bushel of java fern. Now for those of you that do not know, java fern is a plant that is fairly common in the aquarium hobby and over time it can grow in bulk amounts. And that's basically what it's doing in this little corner of my 90 gallon aquarium. So I'm gonna be sticking my hand in this huge tank, which I rarely ever do because it's a really deep tank and my whole hand gets like submerged. So it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. I'll probably use tweezers, these extra long tweezers that are like a foot long. But I'm gonna use that to get these plants out so then we'll be able to plant them in the betta fish tank to keep the shrimp safe. I'll also be adding a couple more rocks, a couple more hiding spots that'll be safe and they won't get eaten because that would be no bueno. Or in German, nicht gut. Yeah, I'm, I can speak different languages, I'm pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> so already I do have a couple hiding spots. I have this coconut shell, I have some driftwood, uh, I have some other rocks and stuff. Also this huge piece of choya wood. So, I mean, that's working, but the shrimp are just, I see them jumping all over the place. They need a lot of food to keep up because they're using a lot of energy. And also, I kind of want to keep the betta fish from themselves. Because, like I've been saying, they can be peaceful, but I mean, the more space you have and the more decorations, the safer it is for everyone. So, I'm going to put this camera on a tripod and, I guess, wash my hand a little bit so I don't have any oils or anything that goes in this big aquarium. So, it's going to be a big one. Alright, see you guys in a second. Oh yeah, one more quick thing. These prints of me and my fish room are still available on the store and they're is free shipping in the US so pick those up right now the link will be down below and uh yeah let's go okay so uh this is gonna be kind of annoying I'm gonna have to take off my whole hoodie all right so I'm hoping that the plant just comes out so I won't have to stick like my entire hand oh, it's not that cold please be loose you guys can see it right oh yes we got a huge chunk oh that is a beautiful plant that looks Beautiful. One great thing about this is the lights are the exact same, so there's not going to be a huge change in this aquarium, um, but we also have one more plant I can pick. I saw a couple comments in the last video, some people were asking what this tube is. So this is a sword plant, and while it grows and over time as it gets healthier, the way that it propagates, and that's just a fancy term for how it spreads its seeds and how it expands and grows different plants, basically it grows this rod through the aquarium and this sends nutrients and other important stuff to these plants up here. So as you can see, at the, at the tip of that stem, there is a brand new mini sword plant growing in. This one's actually, now that I look at it again, it needs a little bit more to grow. It is gonna be pickable probably in the next week, but that looks a, that's a beautiful plant, and I'm super excited, just in case you want to know what that thing is. But here are the plants that we have to put in the aquarium. Um, I didn't want to grab too much because it does look pretty dense right now, and I feel like since I took this, it might encourage the other plants to propagate. You can see a lot of other plants are propagating. I mean, I could pick more, um, but I don't want to prematurely do this stuff. So I think I'll just wait a little bit longer, let some more plants grow in. But I think this will be enough for a corner spot. And I'll just add some more rocks, more than I expected. So, uh, yeah. So the rocks that I'm going to be adding to this aquarium are these stone slates. Now, this type of rock is beautiful. It adds a really nice texture to your aquarium. It's more flat. It also tends to be a little bit more sharp. So it looks a little bit more aggressive in your aquarium, which makes it look pretty cool. It stands out a lot, and it's going to be nice since it's black, and the substrate mostly is this light sand, so it'll look really cool. I guess also while I'm in here, I'll try propagating some of this uh, Ludwigia that we got a couple videos back. However, most of it is dying, unfortunately. All right, so I'm going to set everything up before I add it in. All right, it's your boy, James. I'm gonna start just by propagating some of these plants. I'm gonna use my fingernails just to rip apart the plants. They're really easy to work with, gladly. So I just got one stem, another one, here's another one, and then there's one more. Oof, the water is a little bit colder in this aquarium. All right, now I'm gonna add the java fern to my tank. 
I'm gonna add it on some of this driftwood just because I know the shrimp hang out there a lot and I feel like the roots of this java fern will be able to burrow themselves into the wood and the crevices on there. I'm gonna take some more slate stone and try making some hiding spots for the shrimp in spaces that I know they tend to go. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm gonna go wash my hand off so I don't get any diseases because I do not want to get a disease. <laughs> Alright, so it has been a little bit since I added this to the aquarium and now that I'm looking back, I really didn't do that much. Oh, I mean, here, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you a quick cinematic. Here we go. I mean, it's working. Um, I hope, I think the shot that I got, I showed the shrimp on there. So it adds more hiding spots for the shrimp. And I gotta be honest, because I've had this aquarium for so long, like for two weeks set up and everything's been working, I've basically been able to know where all the shrimp hide. And this is like the busiest place. This is like shrimp highway. You can already see all the little shrimps there. I also added this little wall. And inside the wall, there's a lot of different gaps that the shrimp can hide in. Although the betta fish tend to be sneaky and trying to go up there. You can see that right in the middle of the screen. But I mean, it does add more of a hiding spot. Uh, another spot is right here, just because I feed them right here. I might try feeding them more in this area. This is kind of more of a short-term solution. Um, I'm gonna be buying some more plants soon. That's gonna be the long-term solution. Once we have like a ton of different plants, including the Ludwigia, more of the Hygro, and some other stem plants, then it will not only look amazing, but it'll protect the shrimp more and give the betta fish more room to uh, explore, if that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out my vlog channel if you wanna check out some more videos. I do a lot of photography on there too, because that's one of my big passions. It's like my job outside of here. If you wanna pick up some of that stone slate for your aquarium, and if you wanna add a new look to your aquarium and if you like the way that it looked in my own aquarium check it out down below i sell it on my store also if you want to pick some snails up for your aquarium some duckweed some other plants check it out down below i can't wait to see you in the next video i'll catch you then uh i guess that's it yeah bye <laughs> oh also my instagram's at james Moreland if you want to see those because i post some fuego pictures hit the like button on them all of them everyone